guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. For today's video, I'm going to show you how I conceal my under eye dark circles. Something that has been really, really working for me. And it's also going to last all day long. Also, please do not mind the hair today. It is about 90 degrees outside and humid and I just feel gross and sweaty. So I wanted to get it off my back. But yeah, so I'm just going to take you through all the steps that I do. And I'll do one half of my face. That way you can see it'll be this side of my face having all the products applied to it. This side of my face will continue to have nothing on it. That way you can kind of see all the changes and the transformation happening. Because it is kind of a handful of steps, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. This is something that lasts all day long for me because there's nothing worse than getting that under eye concealed. You're good to go. You go along with your day. And then three hours later, you have creasing under your eyes. Everything's melting off your skin or it's just moving. And then you have dark circles again. Yes, yeah, so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video let's get started okay so like you can see I have very dark kind of like bluish purple dark under eye circles so the first thing that I like to do is color correct this is something very new to me and something that I find just kind of does magic to my eyes so I'm gonna use the LA girl pro concealer in the shade nude this is like a salmon peachy kind of shade you want to use something that's a little bit more on the orange side because it's gonna help counteract the bluish in your eyes and like more of a salmon peachy shade and so what I like to do is just put a little bit on under my eye and then on my eyelid and then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender So this side has it, this side doesn't. What we're going to do is mainly focus on the right side right here. That way you can see the comparison throughout the whole video. So that's what I like to do right before my foundation. Then I want to go in with my foundation, and then we're going to brighten up afterwards. So the foundation I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shades 220 and 228. As you might notice that my face is a lot lighter than my body. I self-tanned last night, again, with the Jurgen self-tan or the Instant, the newer one. And you can't put this on your face, but holy smokes, you guys, this stuff is intense. So a thumbs up this video if you want me to do a review and demonstration on this. I'm going to mix that together and then dot this kind of all over half of my face. And I'm not going to put too much product right here under my eye because we don't want to cake it up. Okay, so next what I want to do is brighten under the area. We already color corrected, we put our foundation on, and now I want to brighten because this is going to help brighten up that area. You don't want to go in with a brightening concealer first because that's going to just kind of brighten everything up and kind of enhance your dark circles. And this is something I didn't really understand until I started using color correcting. So I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in the shade Light. And this has a slight yellowy undertone, and that's kind of what I prefer because yellow also helps brighten up the face. So I like to use a somewhat yellowy concealer. And then for this, I'm just going to put it under my eyes. And I apply this uh, more generously, like you can see. So just to the high planes of my face, because that's what I naturally do. But I'm going to go ahead and blend again with my Beauty Blender. You really want to get this inner corner right here because that's where a lot of darkness can seep through and that's something that instantly lifts your eyes up and makes them not look as um, droopy or you don't look as tired. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I can definitely tell. Now what we're going to do is lock this in all day because there is nothing worse than getting that under eye nice and bright, but not having it last throughout the day. So a couple hours later, it's just going to be back to dark. Everything's going to move, slide down your face, or crease under your eye, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and do the baking technique. This is something that I also recently added to my makeup application process, and I really like it. I've seen a lot of videos on people baking, and I was just like, why? You know, like that just seems like excess product under your eyes, but you guys, it really, really works. So what I'm going to do is I put a little bit in my lid. This is an NYC loose powder. Take it on my damp beauty blender, and I'm going to very, very lightly place this under my eye. And I also go on my eyelid because I don't like that area creasing either. And then you want to just let it bake. So at this time, you could just set the rest of your face if you wanted to. I typically let mine cook or bake for like 30 seconds to a minute. Nothing too crazy at all. But we're going to go ahead and let this sit on the skin for a second, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now our baking should be pretty good. So I'm going to go into the Simply Spoiled Cosmetics Perfection Palette. I just did a whole review and demonstration on how I use this palette in my last video, if you guys want to check it out. Basically, what I like to do is we now want to remove this, but what I like to do is kind of remove it with a more brightening product as well. Again, it's all about that correcting first and then just brightening, brightening, brightening. So I'm going to use this kind of yellow shade over here with this peachy shade. 
tap off the excess and we're going to very lightly brush that all away. I'm using such a light hand with this because you don't want to move any of the product or disturb the dark circles because they have feelings and they're not very nice. <laughs> but you just want to blend everything away. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Then I would go ahead and just set the rest of my face with like a final product here I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 220. And there you have it. This side has all the steps that we just did. This side does it. You can see just from this right here. Major difference. Major dark circle over here. And then so much lightness and brightness. And you just look healthier, more awake, and just put together. Now what I'm going to do is finish this side of my face and then actually finish all of my makeup. And then we'll be back. Alright you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and found it helpful. I really hope this does help some of you guys out if you do struggle with the same under eye dark circle problems that I do. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want to see even some more videos from me, go ahead and check on over at TrustMeCosmetics.com at the TMC Beauty blog. I'm also uploading there three days a week as well. And I'll of course link that down below. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. And you'll see really heavily kind of up by my hairline and my cheekbones because that's where I want the most product So I really kind of carve that area out and then bring it down slightly right under my eyebrow And then I take the rest and I start blending up my temples the sides of my forehead Just to kind of blend everything together and make it all look like one 